Let's, let's do some uh, quick, your favorite, uh, okay. what's your favorite book that you've ever read? Outside the Bible, you can't say the Bible. I can't say the Bible. No. Gosh. You know, I, I can't I, get you super Christian. <laughs> you can't say the Bible. I love John Maxwell. I love the things that he's written. Um, I love leadership. It's um, just my passion besides the Lord. So, that's why you got your master's in I did in, in leadership. Right. I, I love empowering people, encouraging them to move towards their desires and their dreams. And, and maybe trying to be more than what they think they are. Right, yeah. right. All right. People need encouragement, especially in the days we're in now. You know, things are stressful, and people really need to be encouraged. Right. All right. Favorite movie of all time? Warning. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite yeah. movie? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to I didn't expect this to. I know. Um, <laughs> can I ask my husband? Well, he knows, um, but he knows better than. Gosh, we, uh, we like Field of Dreams. I like Field of Dreams. Um, if I have a favorite movie, I usually watch it several times. Mm -hmm. And Field of Dreams is up there. <laughs> All right. Favorite TV series. Josh, you're just not going to believe this. I don't watch TV that much. But I, but I do. I do. I love Law and Order. And I just started watching this new one called um, White Collar. But what I do is I download it to my iPad. <laughs> That, that's the difference between California living and Alabama living. People watch it on their iPads and not on their TV. When we travel, I like it when I travel. I download like the um, we've done it shows and watch it while we travel. I am an electronic nut. Now, I don't know what my favorite movie is, but ask me about my favorite electronics. All right, what what I am a, oh, an, well, I like my Mac, my MacBook Pro, but my iPad, I just got, I love it. Yeah? Yeah. What, what, what's so great about the iPad over, say, the iPad? I could dem demonstrate. Boy, that's a good question, Josh. They are almost identical, except for size. Okay. See, I'm not, I noticed the iPad, and I wasn't such a big fan of it. I was like, why don't I just get a laptop? Oh. Uh, it doesn't take the place of a laptop, but it's great for traveling. Oh. Great for traveling. All right. Especially the 3G. Yeah. Which is spotty in the south. <laughs> I know. It. Where's my phone? It's so true. Yeah, it is. Um, my iPhone, I might add. <laughs> you are all, I, you and Apple, I you got to deal with them or something? No, I just love electronics. I love computers. Okay. It's our uh, favorite musical group or just musician You know what? I like Chris Rice. I like Chris Rice. Mm -hmm. I love listening to his CD. All right. Which one? Oh, mercy. Um, I don't even know. Is Chris Rice still around? <laughs> Maybe not. I'm pretty old. I'm pretty old. No, he's, um, he's still very newish. I just don't know. Okay, Chris Rice and Chris Tomlin. I like, I can only imagine. One Mercy Me song I don't like, the rest of the world likes. <laughs> you know? Okay. I, I love Mercy Me, but I don't know. That, that song, not my thing. You'd rather, uh, let's see here, what was the second one? Their, their follow up to I Can Only Imagine. Here With Me. Mercy Me. That to me. You know, my favorite music is um, music that you sing in church. It isn't really the bands you listen to. I never was a real music fan. Well, I did used to be Simon and Garfunkel, but I'm sure you do not even know who they are. I know who they are. Simon and Garfunkel. And when they're that popular, people um, know who they are, even at my even generation. That era, okay. But my favorite music now really is worship music. I got you. I'm, I'm right there with you. It doesn't have to be slow, oh, fast, no. the kind they sing in church. Absolutely. Change it up. Yeah, I have right. Tempo. right. And I like I like doing songs. For me, for me, David Crowder Band. That's the cool songs that I wish more churches would play. In David who? David Crowder Band. Okay. Look them up. Look them up. Yeah. All right, I will. On my iPad. On your iPad. 
No. All right. So, since you are from California, okay. everybody has their opinion. North or South California, which is bad. Southern, of course. So you like the fast life. You don't want to slow down. You know what? We live in the desert. We live in um, the Palm Springs area, which is, it was, used to be known as a retirement community, but it is, um, more people now live there full time, and it, it really is slow. It's slower, laid back, um, that's what we like. We did live in LA for about six years, I guess, and way too fast, way too fast, too much traffic. That's where I want to go. Yeah. Because I was, I was born in California. Really? Yeah, I lived there until I was eight. Where? So, in Irvine, California. Oh, Irvine, so, okay. Mm -hmm. And now my brother is back there in California, and it makes me very jealous. Yeah. He lives in Hollywood. Oh, in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Let's see here. I think that's about it that I've got. It's just a quick little interview. Yeah. Just about everything. You did a good job. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, for, did a good job. thanks for letting me know. I did a good job on my first interview ever. Um, once again, this is Linda Young. She's the author of God Glasses. And uh, check her website out, lindayoungministries.com. Thank you, Josh. Thank you.